turned 36 recently and was reflecting on 35, it was the best year I've had. So I would say, you know, that's not a coincidence to some of the changes I made. Those are pretty big statements to make. When you graduated from Project 90, you then went into our secondary program, which is called Beyond 90, which is what do you get to create now that alcohol's out of your your life? So what were some of the feelings or insights that came up for you post the first 90 days in those, you know, remaining nine months of that first year? Well, I don't know. We'd have to schedule like two more calls for that. But uh, in a lot of ways, you know, James, I feel like I've just um, gotten to start over in some, you know, some things. It's like finding new hobbies or getting back into things, um, setting new goals, personal goals for myself, business goals, those kind of things um, that I've just been spending my time on. Um, really after that, I would say, you know, after that initial three to six months, it's okay. Now I can spend more time on, on getting deeper. And some of those areas where you went deeper besides business were what? Yeah. So, I mean, we talked a little bit about it, but with my, my personal health, um, spent a lot of time on just getting back in shape. Um, uh, you mentioned the weight, but just, you know, walking, running, lifting weights. Um, so my health is one area, um, relationships, just reconnecting with some people, um, building deep relationships with some people, meeting new people, a lot of cool new people. Um, yeah, so those are some of the big areas. Hmm. How did your relationship with your wife, Abby, change? Yeah. So, so two things come to mind. One, I don't, you know, I don't know that we've been in a better spot than we are today. So, um, that's just fantastic. And two, you know, I, I talked to her and we both agreed this, this past year. So I turned 36 recently and was reflecting on, on 35. Um, and it, it was the best year I've had. So, I would say, you know, that's not a coincidence to some of the changes I made. Um, so yeah, I mean, those are pretty, pretty big statements to make. Uh, so I'm just grateful for that. What has Abby actually shared with you as to what she's noticed about either you or your relationship with her in this past year? Yeah, I mean, it's. I'm not laughing at that this is a small thing, but she said, you know, everything has changed. You know, you, everything you you're doing has changed. You've changed like from a physical perspective so much. And, and just, um, you know, we, we are, we are in such better spot, just calmer, better conversations, spending more time, quality time together. Um, and I think allowing us to be better, better parents as well. Just on the parenting, how are you a better father to your two daughters? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I never, I never try to regret anything in my life. I think everything does happen for a reason. I know that sounds cliche to say, but I do. Um, and I am happy that I, I got to this point because I was letting a lot of time pass with them, just kind of zoned out at nights or getting by on the, you know going out on the weekends, a lot of time that I wasn't present with them. I was there um, and I was with them a lot, but I wasn't always present. So that was, that's one of the main things I'm seeing is I'm just, I'm present with them uh, every chance I can. And, I, and, you know, there's still distractions in the world. There's cell phones, there's work, there's all this other stuff, but I am way more present. Um, just do a lot of fun stuff with them. And, you know, we just got back from a week vacation uh spring break and i was just able to to connect with them to spend time with them on the beach and really enjoy those moments 